Happy Monday to you. I hope that your week is off to a great start. Uh, This week is sure to be an exciting week in the life of our congregation, especially Saturday and Sunday. On Saturday, uh, January 30th, uh, we're going to be having our St. Luke Ministry Summit. Uh, That is from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m., and that's going to happen on Zoom. Now, if you've never been part of our ministry summits in the past, uh, let me tell you a little bit about what it is. A ministry summit is a time for us to gather together as a congregation. Now, this year, we're going to gather together remotely uh, via Zoom, but we're going to get together to sharpen our vision and our plan for ministry in the coming year. Uh, We'll spend some time looking back looking back on God's faithfulness to us as a congregation in the midst of a rather strange year, 2020. Uh, We'll also spend some time looking ahead, uh, looking forward to our ministry plans for 2021. Uh, How are we going to continue to be a people committed to helping the world know the peace and the power of the cross? If you haven't done so already, you can sign up to be part of the Ministry Summit. Uh, You can do that on our website, www.knowingjesus.org. Also, if you have signed up, let me remind you to answer the pre-summit questions. Uh, These were emailed to you after you signed up. It's a series of questions uh, that we're looking for your response, uh, your answer, so that we can use it as part of our time together for the summit. Also, we have something exciting coming up on Sunday, January 31st. Now, that'll be our installation services. Uh, At that installation service, I'll be installed as senior pastor. Uh, Pastor Davis will be installed as executive pastor. Uh, That'll be happening uh, 8.30 a.m. in person at the Meridian Campus, 11 a.m. in person at the Christ campus, and then we'll also have that available to you uh, on live stream at our YouTube channel. A uh, quick reminder that we won't have an uh, in-person worship service at 11 a.m. at the Meridian campus on the 31st uh, because of the installation service. Uh, we will, though, uh, be going back to our normal worship schedule at both campuses uh, on February 7th. Now, as we embark on this new week and this new chapter of ministry, I think we should have these words from 1 Corinthians chapter 12, have them in our hearts and our minds. We hear this, For just as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of the body, though many, are one body, so it is with Christ. But as it is, God arranged the members in the body, each one of them, as he chose. If all were a single member, where would the body be? As it is, there are many parts, yet one body. These are vitally important words for us as a people of God here at St. Luke. Although we are two campuses, we are one body in Christ. Although we speak many different languages, we are one body in Christ. Despite all the differences that we have, we are one body in Christ. Together we are united by the Spirit as the body of Christ. You know, we live in a world that is marked by division and dissension. But not us, not the people of God. We are marked by unity, togetherness, brought together by the Spirit in Christ Jesus. And we stand before a watching world as a witness to the peace and the power of the cross that we are together, united, one body in Jesus. So God's blessings to you on this day. God's blessings to you this week as we continue to know the peace and the power of the cross. Our wonderful Savior, Jesus.